honor to welcome you all to one of the greatest schools around, the Perry School. My name is Andrew Rollins. I am the proud principal of the Perry. It is my job to start us off this morning by introducing our third graders, Mr. Rocher's class and Ms. Malenga's class, directed by Boston Children's Chorus. Take it away. Can we give our students another round of applause? That was awesome. Good morning. I am Mary Skipper. I'm the proud superintendent of the Boston Public Schools. And you know, it's days like today to be able to celebrate our why, which is our students here at the Oliver Perry. So we're, we're thrilled to be here. It's a wonderful school. The joy you feel right now, seeing our students, hearing their beautiful voices, happens every day in these classrooms. Um, Principal Rollins and the staff, I mean, this is really a celebration of the Oliver Perry and all that it brings to the BPS and the goodness that happens in our schools and in our classrooms every day. So I'm exceptionally honored to be here. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah, yeah, you're like, huh, all right. I want to thank Governor Healy. I want to thank Mayor Wu, Secretary Tutwiler, Acting Commissioner Johnston, just for the unwavering support for the BPS on a daily basis. Really appreciate it, and it's been an honor to partner with all of you to make sure BPS is the best district in this state. It is my honor today to introduce our governor. And uh, our governor, Governor Healy, is somebody that's been a champion for our schools, for the students, uh, throughout the Commonwealth. And so I know she has some inspiring words for us. And so with that, let's give her a Perry welcome.
Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Superintendent Skipper, for all that you do. It's great to be with you and your team. And good morning to the Perry School. Go Sharks! Yes. Put your hand up if you were in the chorus. Wow, you guys are amazing. You have such beautiful voices. Yes, thank you for sharing. That's awesome. Um, and thank you to Principal Rollins for welcoming us to this wonderful school. And hello to all the teachers and the staff um, and to all of you students this morning. You know, I, um, my mom was a school nurse. Do we have a school nurse in the house today? Any of you been to the school nurse? Yeah, they're pretty good, right? They're awesome, yeah. So my mom was a school nurse in an elementary school for a long, long time. And, um, and I, and don't you love your teachers? Yes. Yeah, they're special people and all the folks who look after you in the classroom, right? And that's what you need to know too. Whether it's me as your governor, you know, when I work across the whole state or, or the mayor who works across the city, you know, we have teams and everybody is behind you guys and we all want to see you do great. And we all want to see you be the very best that you can be and do whatever you want to do, okay? So that's my message to all of you. And you should also know that you're capable of doing anything and everything, including things that you haven't even imagined yet. But one of the reasons you go to school is so that you can get exposed to all sorts of opportunities out there, right? Does anyone want to be governor? Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> like no one. One? Who wants to be, does anyone want to be a mayor? All right. Does anyone want to be a professional basketball player? How about if you're really, really lucky and special and talented, anybody want to be a teacher? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mayor Michelle Wu um, for your leadership and uh, the commitment of you and your team to, to education, to Chair Jerry Robinson of the ba uh, Boston School Committee, our Secretary of Education. See this big guy here? That's Dr. Pat Tutwiler. He's the Secretary of Education. Our Chair of the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, Catherine Craven. Our Commissioner for Elementary and Secondary Education, Russ Johnson. State legislators are here as well. Um, I just want to acknowledge our Education Chair, Senator Jason Lewis, Rep. Denise Garlick. But today we have with us um, South Boston's own David Beal. Where is he? Where'd you go to school? All right, excellent. And uh, Boston City Council President, Ruthie Louisian. We also have uh, the president of the American Federation of Teachers from Massachusetts, Jessica Tang, who taught with your principal social studies 20 years ago. That's pretty cool. And uh, Boston Teachers Union President Eric Berg. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Massachusetts, we've got the best schools in the country. Do you know that the first school in America, where, where was the first school ever in America? Guess, guess what city? Boston, isn't that cool? Yeah, we're also home to the first library in the country, Massachusetts is, right? We care a lot about education and we believe in learning and we also know that that's possible because we have the best teachers. It's true, we really, really celebrate that and one of the ways we celebrate our teachers is by naming a teacher of the year for the whole state, the whole state, a teacher of the year. Now, do you know how many public schools there are in Massachusetts? How many? More than a thousand? Yeah, 1,800 public schools in Massachusetts. And there are about 80,000 teachers, 80,000, that's a lot. So imagine it's really hard to pick only one teacher for this award. To win it, you have to be really, really outstanding. And back in January, we took in nominations. Uh, we had many people nominated. We broke it down to, um, to a series of, of finalists. You ever see those dance competitions on TV? 
yeah, fight competitions, right, playoff games, right? Eventually you get to, you know, people fall away and then you're left with a group of finalists. And from that group of finalists, we were able to select someone who represents the greatness of Massachusetts teachers and our state's passion for education. And that's why we are so happy to announce that the statewide winner who will serve as Massachusetts Teacher of the Year for 2025 is Oliver Hazard Perry School's own Miss Louisa Sparrow. Come on up. We invite Miss Sparrow to come on up. that Miss Sparrow is Teacher of the Year. She's dedicated to all of her students and passionate about your learning. She goes above and beyond to help you thrive in the classroom and out of the classroom. She reaches out and gets to know not just you guys as students but also your families. And she also mentors other teachers, not only here at Perry but across the city. Outside of school, she works with children in foster care and she helps elderly people write about their lives. Like so many teachers in our state, Ms. Sparrow is an all-around special person. And importantly, she believes the things that make each child special are the things that make a community strong. And she creates community wherever she goes. We can all use that. We can all benefit and learn from teachers like Ms. Sparrow. And we're so lucky to have you teaching in Massachusetts. And we're so lucky for you to be a role model and a mentor to other educators out there. Congratulations again on this recognition. And we'd um, now like to hear from our wonderful mayor, Michelle Wu. Good morning, everyone. How exciting is it to host Governor Healy and all of the leaders across the state to celebrate the Teacher of the Year right here at the Perry School and in South Boston. Thank you so much, everyone, for being an example to have us here. Um, I want to echo the incredible gratitude to all the different people who make it possible for our schools in Massachusetts to be the best in the country and for Boston Public Schools to be leading the way as we want to make sure that as the oldest public school district in the country, we're also the best. Um, thank you to Superintendent Mary Skipper for all of her incredible work, the team that she has built. Uh, we have been celebrating a lot happening all across the district from attendance to opportunities to partnerships and that's all possible because our students work so hard and take care of each other and are really the example for everyone across the country. Um, thank you also to our educators and those who represent them, uh, elected officials and of course our state officials who are such great partners for Boston. I want to thank um, those who focus on the city as well. We have, as, as mentioned, Chair of our School Committee, uh, Madam Chair Jerry Robinson, thank you for all that you do. We also have our neighborhood liaison, Lydia Pulaski here, uh, who is ever present in South Boston. And thank you to Madam President of our uh, City Council, President Lujan. So we're here today because if you think about all the different spaces around the city. There's lots of different things that you, you do with your family, lots of different experiences that you have. The most important are what happens in our schools. What happens to our students and the opportunities that you have to learn, to grow, to make friends, to get to know each other, and to plan ahead for all the possibilities that you're going to encounter when you grow older our educators make that possible. And so we hope that by celebrating this incredible educator, Ms. Sparrow, Ms. S, um, that we're also recognizing the work of all of our teachers and school professionals 
throughout every classroom and throughout every school building in Boston and across the Commonwealth. Now, I know I don't have to say too much about how special Miss S is to you all because you know her best out of everyone. Uh, but we have heard from you so many stories that she is always determined to help every single one of her students get as much joy, experience, and learning out of every moment possible. And to do that, she's been really creating incredible opportunities within her classroom, within the Perry School, and out in the city. Whether it's cooking clubs that she's organized, where her students are the ones practicing, doing the prep, learning the recipes, and taking the lead teaching other students in other grades and classes, or getting out of the school building. Uh, I know that I say all the time to my team, our goal is to get City Hall out of City Hall to make sure we're out in the community. Well, Miss S really gets the Perry out of the Perry as well, because you're just as likely to find her and her class exploring downtown Boston, taking advantage of what the city has to offer as they are learning and growing within this building. So um, just on behalf of the city of Boston, uh, as a BPS mom, as someone who is ready to bring more BPS students into the world very soon, uh, I just want to say congratulations and thank you to Ms. S. Thank you to everyone at the Perry School. Thank you to all of our students and educators across the Commonwealth for representing what we all know is the, the most important force possible, and that is our best and brightest future through our young people. Thank you. And And now I get to pass it to someone who's been an amazing partner at the state level, Commissioner Russell Johnston. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, esteemed guests and colleagues. And most of all, good morning to the amazing Perry students who are sitting down here just patiently taking all of this great information in about your amazing teacher. Perry students, my friends and colleagues who are up here on the stage, I wonder, can you blow them away with the very quietest good morning? On the count of three, can you say good morning to my friends and colleagues? Blow them away with that quiet good morning. One, two, three, good morning. All right, boys and girls. Now, can you blow them away with the loudest Perry good morning? Let's see if you can make them throw their faces back. One, two, three. Good Perry students, you are remarkable. You are in a remarkable school with a remarkable teacher. We are so pleased to celebrate Ms. Sparrow, who does so much on behalf of you and all of the children here at the Perry School. And you know what? Ms. Sparrow's specialty is special education. And that's actually how I got my start in education. I was a special education teacher, and I see so much of what Ms. Sparrow wants for you that I wanted for my students. I see how much she wants you to enjoy learning, whether that's a lesson in the classroom or cooking after the end of the school day. She wants you to make friends because we know that when you have friends, when you are connected to each other, that learning can grow and, and, and deepen because you're learning and growing together. And I know, I know that's what Ms. Sparrow is bringing to all of you at this school. And above all else, she wants to make learning fun when it involves the community and input from your families, many of whom are here today, and the team of educators, the team of educators, working with her in, her in her classroom, working within this entire school to make sure that you have the supports you need to achieve all of your wonderful dreams. You are all important to each other, and I know how important you are to Ms. Sparrow, because you know what? I was the deciding vote. The governor mentioned how the field got narrower and narrower to that final decision. And this summer, uh, I had the pleasure of having Ms. Sparrow come to my office in Everett and getting to sit down with her. And we only had a half an hour. And the time ended and there was so much more that I wanted to hear from her. And that's how I knew she needed to be the teacher of the year because she's gonna be able to share so much of what she's been able to do here at Perry with students and teachers all across the state during this time that she's the teacher of the year. And I'm so excited about that. So 
Clearly, I'm an excitable person, but I am truly, truly excited for who's coming up on the stage next to introduce their teacher. We have Jomani Smith and Layla Joyce. Jomani and Joyce, oh, sorry. Oh, what's that? There's Layla. Layla, come on down. Get to introduce your teacher. Thank you, Layla. My name is Mr. Muhammad. My name is Layla. And we're excited, excited to, to introduce to you, to you our teacher. teacher. She is and the greatest teacher, teacher around. around. And we're and so lucky, lucky to have her. Have her. Miss Ash! Good morning, Perry School and distinguished guests. Thank you for coming today. Thank you, Commissioner Johnston and Desi for this award. I am really humbled to be selected and I am grateful to everyone who has been a part of the process. I would like to thank some of the many people who have supported me along the way. First, Ms. Ludi. Between your job here and your full-time coursework at UMass Boston, you are basically the hardest working person I know. Your commitment to ensuring all our students are ready to engage in learning brings amazing energy to our classroom. Although Mrs. Ferris and Ms. Aleman are not here today, I can't leave them out. Mrs. Ferris's wisdom, dedication to our students, and candid sense of humor are a huge part of why I love coming to work every day. Ms. Aleman's calming presence honors and brings out the best in all of our students. Team 209, my students, you are the reason I do this work. I love you. Your curiosity and willingness to learn motivate me to be a better teacher. Your kindness, resilience, and, enjoy, and joy inspire me to be a better human. Perry colleagues, when I first accepted this job, people kept telling me things like, wow, you're so lucky that you'll be working there. All those people were right. I am grateful for the opportunity to learn from you and to work alongside you in creating a school community that celebrates all learners. Mr. Rollins, through your trust in the educators here, you have fostered an environment where educators feel supported in trying new things to grow our practice. Superintendent Skipper, <laughs> um, your leadership of the district is inspiring to all staff and you helped make it possible for us to perform the critical work of educating our young learners. Miss Sasha, Mr. G, and Miss Bonnie, you keep our school running smoothly by attending to the millions of tasks that others don't even realize need to be done. My family who came to school with me today for this event, Patrick, you are an amazing partner and a thoughtful sounding board about countless school ideas and issues. Cassidy and Vivian, I love you with my whole heart and you inspire me to work towards a more inclusive future. Finally, to my daughter's teachers, childcare professionals are often called the workforce behind the workforce. I simply would not be able to do this job that I love so much if my daughters were not cared for every day by such dedicated educators. Thank you is not enough to convey my gratitude to all of you. I look forward to representing the teachers of Massachusetts over the next year and shining a light on the essential work that we all do. Now I'd like to invite Superintendent Skipper back to the podium. So, you know, when I, when I think of Miss S, 
she inspires us to be our best. But you know, she said three key words to you guys. I love you. And those, that's how your teachers feel about you. That's how the adults here feel about you, that we want the best for you. When she hugged her student, there wasn't anyone on that stage behind me that didn't feel that in their heart. That's your teacher. Let's give her the Perry, like, oh, standing O. Miss S is somebody that when I look at her career, she's worked so hard to become the best teacher she can be. She's taught in multiple states and countries and districts, and at each step, she's kept learning. So she's somebody that as you think, for those of you that raise your hand as a teacher, you can be that teacher. You can have that impact. Think of Miss S. It's my pleasure right now to introduce a special guest, so special that I'm not even gonna say who it is. I'm just gonna ask him to come to the podium. Thank you very much, Superintendent, and thanks to the governor, the commission, the secretary, um, and the chair. Uh, it takes a team and it takes a village to raise uh, wonderful, wonderful students. Uh, my name is David Morales. I'm the general manager of WellPoint. WellPoint is the largest health plan for state employees, municipal employees, teachers, police, fire. And I am honored, honored to bring a little treat and a little secret that we had kept from Ms. Sparrow. WellPoint is honored to partner with the governor and the team to donate $10,000 to Ms. Sparrow for the school to advance education, critical thinking, and all of the wonderful things that the teacher is doing for you in this school. So it is an honor for me to do that. You guys have no idea how much teachers changed my life. I was you once. I grew up very poor, and teachers changed the trajectory of my life. So without further ado, I want to give a big round of applause to Ms. Sparrow, the team here at the school, and you guys for a successful, successful award. Okay? Let's give it <laughs> Ms. Sparrow, we'd like to present a check to Ms. Sparrow. Is that okay, Ms. Sparrow? All right, well, that was a wonderful event. We want to thank everybody for coming today to the Perry. And guess where you guys get to go? Back to class. <laughs> I know, I know. But thank you guys all very much. And uh, Principal Rollins, any instructions for our students? <laughs>